hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to be looking at how to create this chat that you can see on your screen using clustered bar chat in power bi uh, you don't necessarily need to use custom visuals to create this uh, for this particular video is going to be a part of my series understanding power bi visuals i'm going to add the link to the playlist in the description below so that you can check it out and see what i did with other chats don't forget to like and subscribe to this particular channel so that you can be notified when I post new videos. So let's get started. Um, for the first one, you can see that it's aesthetically pleasing compared to the native one. And this second one, um, a use case for the second one is when your category name is long. You can see that from the first visual, the length of the category for some are truncated. But on the second one, you can show the length no matter how long it is actually. Then for the third visual, you can use this to check um, growth and analyze growth rate um, using Power BI across different category. So let's get started. So for the first one, I'm going to click on clustered bar chart. Adjust it to this end. I'm going to use my total sales. The total sales here is basically the sum of the order, the sales column in order table for this chart. I'm going to add the link to the this data set in the description if you want to follow along. Um, I'll select total sales, and for the why as this I'm going to use product subcategory. So we currently have this. I'm going to click on this and click on my format pane. For the size and style, the shadow, I will turn on the shadow and select a color for my shadow. Adjust this to show everything. Then um, for the Y axis, I don't want the name, so I'll turn off the title. For my X axis, I don't want the name and value. I'll turn off the value and the title. I want the data label to also show. Then for the bar itself, I want to turn off the color of this bar so that we have just white the same with the background. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go to the error bars. So for this error bars, I want my upper bound to be total sales. I'll turn it on, enable it to show. Then for the lower bound, I've created a dummy measure here, which is basically baseline equal to zero for my lower bound. So I'll just drag the baseline down there. You can see that this is looking like another chart on its own. Then for the bar of the error, um, error bar, I'm going to change the color to this blue and the width to 10 to increase that. Then for the border color, I am going to change the color to this R blue to match our theme. And for the um, border size, still one, let's leave it that way then for the marker itself i'm going to change the marker to this and increase the size to six so that we have that rounded edges so right now if i expand this you can see that we have a basically new chart here so let's go back so when you hover on the chart you can see that you have the upper and lower showing on the two tip you can turn that up as well okay under the error bar section uh, for the second one which is this particular one we are going to still use our clustered bar chart here adjust the size and use our total sales as well but this time around against customer segment i am going to turn on the shadow change the color of the shadow like we did previously then for the y-axis i don't want the title to show for the x-axis i don't want the title and the values to show i am going to turn on the data label okay the next thing i'm going to do is to change the color of my bar 
here we have um, this shade of blue so that it will match with the theme of our report. Then on the data label itself, I have all series showing and I want to add this uh, baseline to the value again so that we have like two charts in there. So I'll click on baseline and add it to this particular part. So when I collapse this, you can see that the baseline is showing in between as a zero. So what I'm going to do now is for the data label for baseline, I will add a value. This value is known as category label. I created this as the measure. So it's basically selected value customer segment that is equal to that your category that you want to mention. So I'm going to add that value here. Select category label. So you can see that we have it in here. So I'm going to clean this up the more. Um, for the y-axis, I'm going to turn it off entirely. And we want this name to be on top and not below. So to do that, I am going to drag this total cells below. So you can see the name is on top. Then finally, to clean up, turn off that legend and edit the title. You can see now that we have a better looking chart. So the next chart is the final one, sales growth analysis. So for that, we are still going to use clustered bar chart as well. So let me just adjust this so that we have enough space. Clustered bar chart. So for this particular part, I've created some more measures. Um, I have my sales current year, which is basically some of the sales column. Then sales last year, which is basically calculating the previous year so from the other one using the previous year function. Then I have sales last year into two places. I will show you why. Then sales growth, which is basically the difference between the sales current year and the sales last year. Then I have the negative, which is if sales growth is less than or equal to zero, then return sales growth. Then for positive, I have if sales growth is greater than zero, return sales growth. So here now I am going to add sales last year to this chart and check that by customer segment. So for First thing I'm going to do is to format this like we've been doing. Turn on the shadow and change the color. Then um, for the y axis, I want to turn off the name. For the x axis, I want also want to turn off the name. For the bar itself, I want the color to be the color of the background. So I don't want the bar to be showing. So I uh, will now scroll down to error bars. Turn that on. So we have the upper bound. On the upper bound, I will drag the positive here. You can't see anything. I will need to enable this. Enable that. You can see the positive. And the lower bound, we have the negative. And down here, I have the error labels turned on. And for now, you can see that it's showing the absolute value, which I don't want. I want it to show relative, which is more like the change. You can see that has changed. Then for markers, I want the marker to be this arrow shape to show the direction of the change. Then um, you can see that under the label, there are different formats of label. Right now, it's on the absolute. You can change to numeric. But for this label, I want it to be percentage because I want it to show the percentage change itself. Then um, the next thing I would like to achieve is to change the color of these lines. But the thing is that, that's the bar itself and the marker. The thing is that I cannot change the colors, so which is why I need that sales last year, the second one. So I'm going to add that to this particular chart. And so it has resetted everything. I am going to edit them again on the bar. I will turn change color of the bar to white. The second one to 
so we have just the arrows now so under the error bars now what i'm going to do for the first one which is sales last year i will show just the positive remove the negative from there and now i can change the color of the first one to green to show positive right now you can see that the other one that has negative is out of here so i'm going to use the second one to show that for the second one i'll turn it on enable then drag the negative which is the lower band change the way it shows to relative and also change the marker to arrow and also the color to red then um, scroll down to the label turn on the label and change the label format to percentage so now you can see that our chart it's showing the growth the length of the lines show the magnitude of the change while the color of the line shows whether it's a positive or negative change and you can see that these three charts we are created using the native cluster bar chart thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos bye